Hey everyone, today we're working on the 98 Windstar 3.8 um, and we're changing an O-ring for the line, the cooling line for the transmission, the upper one that goes in the, into the radiator here. Um, reason for that is because we have a pretty good sized leak. And you guys can see there. Um, I don't know if you guys can see all that on the side of the radiator. And down at the bottom. There's a lot of fluid from the transmission coming out of that top line there. So we're going to go ahead and use a, a tool that was purchased off of Amazon.com, part number 6593. We're going to be using the smaller one and replacing it or replacing the o-ring with one of these guys here so stay tuned all right so first thing you want to do is you want to unhook this clip here some of the things on here are in the way but so this clip here, you have to unclip it. Okay. You just pry both sides off. So you want to put this piece facing the um, radiator and then locking it in place onto the cooling line. Lock in place. Push it in. Hold it in. And then you pull out. the line and I forgot to mention make sure you have a drip pan at the bottom just in case the fluid comes out all right the line is out release your tool set it aside Okay, so you're going to need a big socket for this. This size fits on there. Not exactly sure if it's the correct size, but it fits very snug. So this uh, socket, it's a half inch. You need a half inch ratchet. If you have the radiator already out of the vehicle, maybe it's easier to use a adjustable wrench.
This is why it's leaking. We have a pretty bad O-ring on here. And this radiator is like, uh, I don't know, three months old or so. Alright, so let's see which one of these O-rings will be similar to this bad O-ring and that will fit this shaft here. Alright, so we found this size here. It fits around there perfectly. It was this one. Um, doesn't say a size, otherwise I would state it. Okay, now we install it. Nice and snug. Too tight, you know. You don't want to crack the radiator itself, so kind of just gently tighten as far as you can. I think that's going to do it. I don't want to go too tight on this. Let's see. Okay, that will give it some more life. Now it's time to pull back the line. Okay, grab your line, insert it all the way, and don't forget the clip itself that we disengaged earlier. Push it down, and you're done. Hopefully it helps you in replacing that O-ring rather than purchasing a whole new radi radiator. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye.